Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a little application called Buku. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call it Buku because that's what it looks like. The idea behind Buku is browser independent bookmarks. So let's talk first a little bit about why you would want browser independent bookmarks. So uh, the, it's a good idea if you move between browser, browsers a lot. It's a good idea uh, if you're worried about privacy and don't really want the per, the browser you're using to know all of your bookmarks. Uh, it's a similarly, it's a good idea because you can control your bookmarks and be more organized. Um, that last one's a little untrue. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, but browser independent bookmarks also allow you to. Um, like I said, transfer between browsers, but also transfer between computers really easily because you can you have uh, you know the folders. Now I understand like with a browser you can export you know your your bookmarks to like a XML or HTML file or whatever and transfer it over manually or sync it via Dropbox or PCloud or whatever. But this way you have literally a uh, uh, you know a file that has uh, uh, is associated with this program that you can just you know, install on another computer, point at the program at that, comp you know, that file and you're set up with the same system you have on your first computer. And that's really good. And I've, I've been using this now for, I don't know, maybe two months now. And I'm really very impressed with it. Uh, it does have some quirks, I guess you'd have to say. And, uh, you know, it's definitely going to change your workflow. I, I found myself visiting bookmarks a little bit less now than I did before, um, mainly because it's taking kind of some time to work this process into my muscle memory. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a process. So first, let me open up a browser here and show you what my bookmarks used to look like. So if we could press Control B here and these are my bookmarks here and I was, just, I was always very very you know organized I have them in you know folders and stuff you know they're very you know in you know where they're supposed to be categorized and they're all tagged with the Firefox tagging system and it's great but there are also a ton of these things that I just don't I mean this FOSS stuff thing is just kind of been developed into a catch-all thing for all FOSS related stuff and the same thing with um, you know tools here and there's uh, you know um, apps to look at I have a whole bunch of them in he things in here and you know that's a uh, you know that's a whole bunch of stuff for my fan fiction stuff and technology websites and YouTube and all that stuff I have it all you know it, it was kind of a mess and I because I'm one of those weird people who go through and want to, you know, uh, theme Firefox all the time, the bookmarks menu kind of got in the way. So Firefox looks a lot cleaner like this than it does with that menu out. Now I understand you can put the menu up here, uh, show bookmarks bar. Yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like up here. And I had that, uh, that, out of the way um, that's pretty clean but it also it ruins the aesthetic of having a one line Firefox thing this is just one line is awesome it's the way I prefer it um, at one point I had them along the side and that one line it was and that looked pretty cool too um, but like I said I also switched back and forth between browsers so I really kind of wanted control over my bookmarks file something that was transferable between browsers something that I could control something that was easy to add things to um you know and, and so Brody Robinson I think that's his name he's another YouTuber that does does Linux um he calls himself Discount Luke which is I find hilarious uh he did a video on Buku not too long ago and I decided well you know what? I'm gonna give this a try and since then I've been using it so what does Buku actually look like so I have this uh bound to a key binding for Rofi. So I just do mod B and these are my my bookmarks. And I don't have all my bookmarks in here. So cuz all that like so that stuff you saw it was all FOSS related stuff. I don't have any of that stuff in here cuz it's just that's just stuff I'm would 
I can still get to that stuff by going to the regular bookmarks menu. This, these are the things that I visit all the time, you know, and, you know, it's just, I, I, matter of fact, I only have 49 bookmarks. And it's just really easy. So if I want to visit one of these, I just, you know, I can just, so let's just say I wanted to visit The Verge. I just type it in. Um, I can also do, I can also type that number if I have that number memorized, which I don't, you know, I can just type in the verge or that number or whatever. And that's really great. And it's just, the, it's very, you know, simple. It, it, it works with D menu or Rofi. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and go to a terminal here and take a look at what D menu act, or, or Buku actually looks like. And it's about 5,000 lines of code. And I believe that this is written in Python. I might be, yeah, it's written in Python. See, I, I'm getting to know what Python looks like with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, anyways, it's it's um, it's written in Python, and about five thousand words code, and I don't understand a, a damn line of this really. Um, some of the things look familiar that from my time with Qtile, um, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to d dive into this a little bit, you know, in, in my own time because I really want to try to get because when I when I go through and um, Say I wanted to open up a bookmark. Say I wanted to open up, uh, I don't know, BGN here. This is for my football team. See, it opens up in a new t new browser, and I don't, or a, a new tab, and I don't always want it to open up in a new tab. I'd, if, I'd love to be able to have that set so I can kind of alter it, you know, with a different key binding. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. That's not something that Buku can do. Buku can do. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a '70s song. Uh, um, but. I'd love to be able to do that. So I'm, I'm going to dive into the code a little bit and see if I can figure out how to do that. But um, really, what we want to look at here is Buku help. Now, there's tons of stuff you can do here. So if you want to add a a bookmark, you do it with the dash A flag. You can update with the dash U. W, dash w right opens the the an editor so if I do um buku dash w that brings me here then I just you know add the URL add the title of the URL add tags now what what's great is if you use the um if you use the D menu uh, helper or whatever to, to for this you can set it up so that it can search for tags instead of the titles or um, stuff. Now, if you look, um, there's one. Oops. Yeah. So there's one of these flags here. Um, let's see here. Um. Yeah, format. If you search by f the with the dash f thing when you do a, a search, it, it will allow you to choose what you want to search. So the n one will search for the URL, n two URL and the tag, URL title. Uh, and forwards the URL and the title and the tag and, and so on and so forth. So I have a script here, cd slash user, search local slash bin. And I think it's called, um, I think it's called Buku D menu. Yeah. So then Buku D menu. And this is basically just one line of code. This right here just checks to make sure Buku is installed. Uh, and then there's this one line. So it, it runs Buku with the P flag and the F flag and the number three. So this basically searches for the title and the tag, I believe. Um, and then it formats it in a certain way, feeds it into Rofi in the D menu style, um, and labels it bookmarks. It cuts out some spaces and then this argument here basically just tells you if it, it's empty to open up whatever your selection is, um, and that's just one line. And this is started off as a as a D menu script, so I just replaced Rofi with D menu. Um, but that's basically all that is. Now this doesn't come with Buku; you have to download this separately. I put a link to D menu run in the show notes description, or the show notes, the show notes description, the the, the video description. <laughs> you can tell I was doing a podcast yesterday, um, and, but. Basically, that's all it does. It just opens up this and uses your Rofi or D menu theme or whatever you, whatever you do. Um, like I prefer Rofi, so this is what it looks like. Um, if, 
my 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 D menu is themed, but I just don't use it. I'm actually kind of shocked that I still have D menu actually installed. But I, I don't think that DWM will actually run without D menu installed, so that's just <laughs> completely beside the point. Um, so if we go back to here and clear this out and do buku dash buku, nah, I can't type help again. There are just tons of different things you can do. So once you get the W, that you can delete them based on the the ID. So each, so if I let me um, one of these things here will list out the ones list out the um you bookmarks that I have, which uh um. Okay, so I want I want I will talk about AI here in a second because um, you can import your bookmarks from your browser. It did not work for me. I'm not sure why. I think it's because I had too many folders, um, but that's possible. Um, I'm not. One of these things will actually list out the things that I have. What if I just type in Buku? Oh, uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. This apparently O oh, is. Hmm. I never used Buku in the in the um the terminal, so I'm not exactly sure how to do it. But there, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, you can go through and search it. I don't know why you'd want to use Buku in the terminal, actually. it's. I mean, you use the terminal to add your bookmarks, and that's what I did. But after that, you almost have to have something with the menu or Rofi. Because why would you want to, every time you open up a bookmarks, you know, you know open up a... Uh, like three, two. And I just opened up. Apparently, this has the ID of two, um, which I didn't even know. Um, I like I said, I don't know why you'd want to open up a terminal every time you want to do buku dash o uh, three. You know, it just opens up Tumblr. You know, <laughs> so I mean, why would you want to do that every single time you open up? So you, you almost have to have. Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. You know, something with Rofi or D menu. So. Let's talk. A, so basically, in a nutshell, that's what Buku is. Um, I'm not going to show you how to add, you know, a bookmark stuff. It's all there in the help documentation, uh, and it's really easy. Just Buku dash W and then fill out the information. You know, that's really all it is. Uh, so some things that I don't like about Buku. So in the beginning, I told you how it kind of made me not visit my bookmarks nearly as much, and that's the truth because I used to I mean with, when they were there front and center in my uh, you know Firefox you know I was visiting them all the time and when I first started using Buku I actually kind of didn't use them as much because you kind of have to remember that they're there you know so I always have to remember not only that you know Buku is there but I also have to remember what, you know say I wanted something from AO3 which is you know all these here you know I have to remember what to search for. I have to, so I want if I want want something tech. Um, as you can see, this doesn't actually. This just searches the title. So it only shows me, you know, like things that have tech in the name. Uh, so it, it's a little because that because it's kind of buried. It's not front and center. I had to retrain my muscle memory. But also because it's not easy to search through something outside of the terminal. So if you want to search for something, you know, via tag or ID or whatever, you know, it's really easy to do so in the terminal using those flags. Um, but it, you would have to write a Rofi or D menu script if you want to search through tags, uh, you know, you know, using Rofi or D menu. And I, that's kind of a pain in the, pain in the ass. Uh, and it just is. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that this isn't just a D menu script to begin with, or a, you know, a Rofi script to begin with, that you have to kind of add into Rofi. Uh, it's also, 
I don't, I, I already talked about how it opens up a new tab. So a lot of times when I'm switching between bookmarks, I'll end up like this. I have like five or six tabs open because every time I open up a new bookmark or switch between bookmarks, it opens up a new tab and I, eh, I don't really want that. It's kind of a, t it's kind of terrible. Um, so, I mean, there are some, like I said, there's some quirks that you kind of have to get used to. Um, but I really like the fact that I have, you know, a file somewhere on my computer. I, mean, I think it's in dot buku, I think. I could be wrong. It might be .config.buku. I can't remember. Um, but there's a file on my computer that I can copy to a phone drive or send via Dropbox or whatever to my laptop. And all of a sudden, I have all my bookmarks there without having to trust Firefox or Google Chrome to sync them and not steal my data. That's what really impresses me about Buku. And it's something that will I, I've gotten used to it now. And um, I'm going to write that script where I can search via tag and stuff because I think that that would be really useful because I have all of the bookmarks that I entered. I gave a whole bunch of tags like, you know, fan fiction or uh, technology or, you know, um, videos or whatever, you know. So I gave them all tags, but you can't really search for those the way I have it set up. So that's probably one of my next things that I'm going to do is write a, a Rofi script where that will go through because it's not it's, it will not be hard. If I cd into this here and vim to here, all I'd have to do is change uh, this beginning thing here to search. Instead of search for title, I'd have to search for tabs. So if I do um, buku help and go here to the F, the F one, where is F, 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 past it, past it, past it. It's a... Uh, these are alphabetical order. I don't know. <laughs> Not alphabetical order, but they should be. So if I do, right now I'm doing three. I'm doing title. If I change that to two, or if I changed it to five, um, that would allow, when I do that search, it would search for not only the title, but also anything that matched it, matched a tag, which would be cool. So if I typed in tech, I would get all the, the things that I tagged tech, and, I, and that's something that I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure. I might be able to actually just change that now. So if I change this to, uh, I said five. So if we do, um, uh, actually, I'm going to sudo. This is just, oops, can't, I can't use my alias here. I got to do nvim. All right, there we go. Let me just go down here and change this to five, change letter. Five. Now, if I do D, oops. See, it's gonna put all of the t the tags now here. So if I type in tech, it'll actually give me everything that I've sh I've typed tech or gave the tech tag to. So I've done Verge and the OMG Ubuntu and Android Central and all these things. Whereas before, if you remember, it just showed me an an Antec and Ars Technica. So that's really cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. That way I can just type in fan fiction and that gives me all my fan fiction stuff no matter what site I've been using. So that's really cool. And that was how easy that is. Like I said, I will, in the description, I will go through and um, link to Buku so you can find that. It's on a GitHub page. It's very easy to install. Uh, it's in the AUR, I believe. It's also, you can also make, it's a um, very, like a buildable package. You can just, you know, make install it. Um, so you can compile it yourself. And I will also link to uh, dmenu, buku-dmenu. That is just that one line of code that I just changed. That's literally all it is. Um, there's another dmenu script out there called buku underscore run. It does not work. It's like tw um, 40, 50 lines of code. Uh, and it's com in entirely too complicated. Literally, that that D menu, Buku D menu, just just that one line of code is fantastic. It doesn't even need to, need to be a program. It could just be something that you copy and paste into your like SXHKD file and run it like like that. I mean, if you didn't want to put a, a you know um a script together, uh, I mean, so it's even a script. Even a script at that point is kind of uh, you know unnecessary. So that is Buku. Uh, let me know if you find Buku interesting by leaving a comment in the in the comment section. Where else would you leave a comment? You can also support the channel by going to patreon.com/linuxcast, following on 
follow, 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 us, following us on Twitter at the Linux cast or me. I'm personally on Twitter at MTWB. You can also, uh, do the thing that everybody should do is hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button because those really do help the channel. We've been, I wouldn't say we've been growing by leaps and bounds, but we're definitely getting people watching the videos, which I really do appreciate. So thank you for everybody who's watching and uh, we'll see you next time.